definitely gonna cry at the concert. I'm gonna like, I might faint, honestly. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm like, yeah. yeah. All right, all right, take a deep breath. <laughs> Hit up the merch truck. It's the shopping day before the concert night and night one of Taylor Swift in Kansas City. For eight hours now, the lines have been long, showing the true power of Taylor Swift to get her fans to open up their wallets. I'm John Holt. And I'm Kevin Barry. Today's sales have been open to the public today out at Arrowhead. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlesad joins us live from the line at Arrowhead. How's it looking so far? Looks like a lot of sun and a lot of fans, Jake. Yeah, I mean, it's as busy out here as it's been all day, maybe even a little bit busier since work has gotten off. And at a certain point, you kind of have to step back and remind yourself that this is not normal. You know, typically when a tour comes through town, you buy your concert shirt, your merch on the day of that concert. But then you look around here and you kind of realize that if they did it that way, those lines would be even crazier. Thank you. You have a great one. Dropping hundreds of dollars, some acting as a bag man for their out-of-town friends, the Swifties know what they want. First off, I got the really famous blue crew neck. Everyone's getting it, especially because like they're limiting it to two pe like two uh, crew necks per person. They sell out every single stadium that you go to, so that, this is the whole reason why I came today. But the pain of the line. Are you going this weekend? No, I'm not going. Is different for a husband than it is for say someone who tore her ACL last week. Of course, I had to bedazzle it. Like it has to match, and like I'm gonna decorate the crutches too. Well, are you in pain, like waiting in line for merch? Yes, um, it's definitely not fun. Like my other leg hurts from just standing here and supporting my body. And then obviously, I mean, this is torn, so it's not feeling great. And I'm so excited. I've been counting down the days since like the day I found out that I got the tickets. And it's crazy because I started at like 165 days and now it's like <laughs> one day. It's so crazy. I'm like, because it, it didn't feel real until now. But not everyone is what you'd call as organized in their plans. How much are you willing to spend right now? A thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Per ticket, maybe. Yeah, two thousand total. You flew here for this concert without tickets, but you have hope. Yeah, I have hope and faith. We will make it. Yeah. I don't know how, but we will be masterminds. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but yeah. it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> So here's the deal out here. This is going to be going on until 7 o'clock when they're going to shut off new entries into the line. People in line can still move all the way forward. And then the truck, it will be out here tomorrow and the next day. However, you know, the parking situation is going to be much more restricted for ticket holders and people who've paid for parking. So, Kevin, this is kind of the last time the public is going to have access to this merch at this point. It's probably contributing to the long lines out here. Yeah, no, going to be a weekend of long lines, a weekend of just packing your patience out there, but a lot of fun for those Swift fans. Jacob Kittlesad live out at Arrowhead for us.